Hey, it's Joseph here. Today we are looking at Dell's monitor and it strangely has a camera on top. And this specific one is Dell 24 video conferencing monitor. So it is meant for video conferencing. These days we do a lot of either work from home and if you have like a desktop setup, you don't have a webcam and you need another monitor to kind of widen the screen real estate. And even if you have a laptop, either it doesn't have a webcam or its webcam is just not good enough for video conferencing purposes, then you want to invest into another set of monitor to widen your screen real estate and then have some sort of camera to do video conference with. So this is targeted for professionals looking for that sort of setup. And as far as I know, this is supposed to have a USB-C connection where it can charge up your device as well. So you can pretty much connect to your laptop and then charge your laptop as well as having meaningful webcam for you. And the model name of this monitor is S2422HZ. When it comes to the model names, it becomes quite confusing, but the S series is supposedly the professional level monitor. And also this is 23.8 inches, essentially 24 inches, and then five megapixels webcam on top with a full HD, so 1080p resolution of the screen itself. I don't know what this LBL is, but it says LBL. And then it is able to push power delivery of 65 watt. So your laptop could charge from it. My laptop certainly will, so we'll test that. And then it has a speaker that is five watt. Since it has speakers, you can rely on that as well. So especially if you have a desktop that doesn't have a webcam, then it comes with a speaker and a webcam for you to utilize. On the back, this is what it looks like. We'll see it on the monitor and it supports the tilt, swivel, rotate, that sort of thing. And then I'll cover the IOs as well, but that is listed here. Video calls in superb clarity, single USB-C cable connectivity, modern design. Sure, we'll test it out. By the way, Dell has sent me this device for the showcase and review purposes. So I just wanted to disclose that information. All right, I've got a manual quick start guide type of thing and then the power cable and USB-C to USB-C cable. So we'll use that to connect my laptop to the screen. And then here is the feet for the monitor. So let's get this portion lifted. And then here is the arm. Undo this, the head is exposed. And then what you usually do is just put it on top of the feet and then there's gonna be a screw. This is pretty typical to any other monitor. Okay, make sure it is secure and that way you can just take out the monitor and mount onto the heads. And there is sort of a grommet hole for you to route the power cables and other type of cables that are connected to the monitor. Okay, so lastly, get the panel out. Make sure you don't put too much pressure onto the panel because it is somewhat sensitive. Basically, you get the panel and then just lower this two prongs into it. And then at the bottom, it's just gonna hinge off and then snap like that. So it is secure and as you saw, it is able to rotate, tilt back and forth. It is also able to swivel. And as you can see, it is sort of a matte finish. So it doesn't reflect as much light, which is a good thing to have. And then yeah, it's got thin bezel all around, except the chin that has a Dell logo on top, which is all sort of normal monitor, right? In terms of the ports, we can turn this around 90 degree like so, and then show you a bit what's on the back. So here we can see the power cable and then full size HDMI and then one display port. And this one here is a USB-C and it has a power delivery of 65 watts. So any laptops that you connect, you'll be able to utilize that and charge your laptop as well. And that's why this USB-C to USB-C port is included. And then you can also connect your regular USB type A to support any peripherals such as a mouse or keyboard that you have. Was there anything else? 
So there it is, the headphone jack before the USB type A, and then you can see that there is another USB type A and bunch of buttons down here to turn on and then navigate through the menus. There is a Kensington lock available for you if you care for locking up your monitor. And that is pretty much it. It is quite thin, if you will. It's got sort of a pattern on the back. It looks kind of white on the screen, but there is sort of a undulating wavy pattern that's on the plastic. It feels nice and I'm sure it'll look nice even if you have to stare at the back of the monitor of your coworker. And there is a sticker that I haven't really peeled yet. So let's go ahead and do that. As you do that, it peels the one on the front as well. Be careful not to touch the front panel. And there is a little icon that says camera icon. So soon we'll find out what that is. And there is a little red tab with the slot. So I'm guessing that is a portion where the camera is supposed to come out. I'm not really attempting to pull this tab yet. So let's get it connected. You can basically route it here. It's funny because the hole is just wide enough to put the power cable through. Okay, the monitor is connected. How do I turn it on? There is a button on this side. There you go, it is on. Yes, please use English. I want the always on USB-C charging. Yes. Okay, let's connect it up with my laptop. So you can use this in different sort of setup. I guess it is meant to be somewhat versatile in that way. So you can connect it with your laptop and expect your laptop to charge. So just take that USB-C to USB-C connector Connect one end to the monitor and the other end to your laptop. And so far there were two different monitors that I have featured on my channel from Dell that hosts via one single USB-C cable and offers charging to your laptop. Just to demonstrate, yeah, it is kind of mirroring onto here. It actually in fact is charging. I don't know if you can capture that, but my laptop is being charged at the moment. So anything that I write on the screen will be duplicated on there so we can certainly do some sort of presentation. So let me go ahead and change the resolution to 1080p because my laptop is not 1080p and it is not maximizing the screen. There you go. So here on the website, you can see Dell 24 video conferencing monitor S2422HZ and it is listed as $440. It is quite often Dell will have some sort of discounts or other type of websites will sell it for much lesser price. So that is just a MSRP, but it is not to say it is cheap. So it is quite expensive for just 24 inch monitor if that's the only thing that you're utilizing. However, this one also acts as a USB-C hub since you are just connecting a single cable to your laptop and then it is charging it up as well as connecting up some of the peripherals that are connected via USB type A ports that are connected to this monitor. And it boasts the privacy when you want it. A super clear five megapixel IR pop-up camera features facial recognition. So it does support Windows Hello if you want. And not all webcams are possible to do Windows Hello or biometric sign in. So this camera is capable of doing that. And then down here, the peak brightness is 250 nits. And then native resolution is 1080p at 75 hertz. Those are the things that you might care about, as well as IPS panel. And then the contrast ratio is 1000 to 1, which is kind of typical for this caliber of monitor. The overall weight is 8.5 pounds, and that's pretty much it in terms of the spec. So let's go ahead and go to, let's say, YouTube and see how the sound is like. It is not the best sounding speakers. Obviously five watt isn't all that much, but I'm sure you'll be able to hear voices. Let's go ahead and play one of 
my videos so that you can hear the voices the basic navigation function so hopefully if you have been following my channel you're already a bit more than just a basic user okay so it sounds pretty good let's test it for the camera as well so let's go to camera the webcam is enabled but it is all black and apparently you just click this once push it down and then let go and then that comes up and there is a little red tab that has a peel so let's get rid of that so you can pretty much push it down so you don't see the camera and the privacy filter if you may and then just push it down and then release and the camera will pop up kind of convenient and that's definitely not the prettiest picture but that's what you are seeing on my desk so let me go ahead and start recording so you would probably hear things from the monitors microphone as well as the webcam so webcam is up here and I can see myself everything is quite clear I'm surprised by how much of a noise it's able to handle what a difference to see everything in such a big frame and having a conference this way or video call this way would be quite nice and I just have to look at the camera and talk so that I am more engaged and it is quite easy with the screen that's quite large and then to have a webcam that is mounted a bit higher than your eye level so that the view is not up your chin because if you have a laptop like this on a table then it's often looking from the bottom of your face so you don't really look all that flattering this would be sort of the angle from your laptop where everything is kind of looking up it is not necessarily the most flattering look because you're camera position is below your chin whereas if you were to have a webcam that is about your eye level or even higher then everything looks quite nice and conveniently all of that is explained on their website and also this monitor would be quite nice for a desktop as well yes you can connect USB-C to your desktop but often it may not have a compatibility since they don't necessarily have Thunderbolt all the time but you can still connect via full-size HDMI or display port and then the USB-C connection would be able to drive all the webcam capabilities along with the sound and also other peripherals that are connected to this monitor such as a dongle for your keyboard and mouse so it would absolutely make sense if you're trying to increase the screen real estate along with having some sort of webcam capabilities and built-in speakers it makes absolute sense so if you also find this monitor useful, then please use the link in the description. I'll leave an affiliated link, which doesn't cost you anything extra. It just helps to support this channel. I would appreciate if you use those links. If you have liked this content, please like and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.